we glorify your name. You are good. We glorify your name. Oh, we glorify your name. You are good. We glorify your name. Jesus, we glorify your name. Master Jesus, we glorify your name. You are good. We glorify your name. Oh, we glorify the name. You are good. We glorify your name. O Doctor Jesus, glorify your name. You are good. We glorify my name. Oh yeah, we glorify your name. You are good. We glorify your name. Oh, we glorify your name. You are good. We glorify the name. We glorify your name. You are good. We glorify your name. Oh, we glorify your name. You are good. Glorify your name. We glorify your name. You are good. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. You are good. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. You are good. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. You are good. Fire your name. We glorify your name. You are good. Honor you, your name. Doctor Jesus, you glorify your name. You are good. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. 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 Then Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus open the door, nobody can close it. Oh, when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yeah, nobody can say no. 
when Jesus is nobody can say no. When Jesus opened the door, nobody can close it. When Jesus is nobody can say no. You are worthy, O Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, Emmanuel, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. Emmanuel, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. Emmanuel, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. Emmanuel, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord. Jehovah, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. Praise the Lord. My spirit, souls, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Shout hallelujah. Let's let somebody, when we are singing song, you let the person raise the song so that you can pick it up. Please. Praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body, praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body, praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body, shout alleluia, alleluia, praise the Lord. My spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, souls, and body. Shout, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my spirit, souls, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord, my spirit, soul, and body. Shout, Alleluia, Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Oh, my spirit, soul, and body, praise Jesus. My spirit, soul, and body, oh, praise the Lord. Oh, my spirit, soul, and body, shine, hallelujah. Why can't you begin to open your mouth? Let your spirit, souls, and body worship the King of Kings, worship the Lord of Lords, worship the one we have come to see this evening. Let your soul, let your body, let your spirit worship this God. We have gathered to come before His presence. We have gathered to meet Him because He's our Father, because He's our King, He's our Shepherd, He's the All in All, He's the reason why we have gathered, He's the Most High God. There is no beside Him. Worship this God because He's able God. Worship this God because He's faithful. Worship this God because beside Him there is no God. He's 
the strong God, is the mighty God, is the Yam Dantaya, is the Father of all spirit, is the one that have authority over your life, is the one that have the final say. That's part of what the devil is doing. The Lord is the one that have the final say in your life. Nobody have authority over your life. Nobody have the final say. Is Jesus Christ that have the final say in your life? Begin to exalt Him. Begin to worship Him. Begin to tell Him, Lord, You are worthy. You are the Almighty. You are the Abba Father. You are the Great God. You are the Strong God. There is no beside Him. By the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Lord of Lords. Is the Strong Man. Is the Mighty Man in battle. He is the Higher than the Highest. He is the God that cannot lie. He is the God that cannot fail. He is the God that have the final say. He is the one that said, "Let there be light," and there was light. And is the one that said, "Let the whole water gather in one place," and it was so. There is no beside him. He is the one. He changed situation. Situation cannot change it. He limited all power. No power can limit him because he is the Father. Oh, Father, we bless your name, Lord, because you are worthy to be praised. May your name may not be glorified. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In the whole of his son. In the whole of his son. I am safe, whatever be tied me in the hollow of his sand, of his sand, in the hollow, sing unto God, of his sand, oh, in the hollow, oh, of his sand. Oh, I am saved. Oh, whatever may tie me. Oh, in the whole of his I don't know what are those things that have tied you for years. I don't know what are those things that tied you for months. I don't know what are those things that tie you for days. But this hour, I want to tell you that whatever have tied you, because Jesus Christ is on the truth, because Jesus Christ is alive, I want to tell you this hour, the Lord is going to set you free from everything that have tied you. I am not the one that will do it because I believe He is with me. I believe because He told me that by the measure of His name, every chain must lose. Right now, I want you to begin to talk to God and begin to tell the Lord, whatever that have tied me for years, whatever that have tied me for months, whatever that have tied me for years, for days, begin to tell the Lord, I need your freedom upon my life. Begin to tell Jesus, I need that glorious freedom. I don't know the delay that have tied your life. I don't know the hardship that have tied you. I don't know the disappointment that have tied you. I don't know the hatred that have tied you. I don't know the barrenness that have tied you. I don't know the Holiness have tied you, but Jesus Christ is able to set you free right now from every power from your father's compound, every power from your village, every power from your town, every power from the place where you are living. Those power have tied you. The power that are ruling in the land, the power that are operating in the spirit, the power that are operating in that city have tied you right now. But the blood of Jesus Christ is going to set you free. Oh, precious Father, Lord, you alone is the Father of all spirit. Lord, you alone is the one that have the final say. Father, whatever that have tied us, my father, Lord, I know I am safe and secure in your hand. I know my father in glory because by the measure of your name, every name must bow. Father, every power that have tied my ministry, every power that have tied your children, every power that have been holding your children captive, my father in glory, we are safe and secure. Father, let there be a freedom this hour. Lord, let there be total freedom. Father, freedom right now, my Father, in every area. Freedom, oh Lord, my Father. Lord, my Father, in the life of your children, the enemy have all the guilty. Lord, I pray for freedom. Father, I pray for freedom. Father, every power from my father's compound, from my mother's compound, my Father, that have all been tied, my Father, that have bowed over their dead body, that my Lord, my God, that I 
shall not prosper, that I will not be what you want me to be, that my ministry will not rob the world. Every forces of darkness, Father, on social media, Father, in glory, that I'll be fighting my Father. The hour has come, my Lord. Father, the hour has come. The Lord is not my Father. Lord, you will bring them down because you are the strong God. Father, you are the strong God. Father, you are the strong God. Lord, because my Father disgraced them. Lord, disgrace them, my Father, in glory, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want we are going to pray. We are going to pray. On that day, John was arrested. John the beloved. And then when the John was arrested. That is how many of you have been arrested in spiritual ray. In spiritual ray, they have arrested you. And you are in their cage. Then a time came, the daughter of, the, of Herod. Herod was standing as a strong man in the life of John. And uh, a time came that the Herod daughter praised the king. And the king said, make a request, anything at all. And he went to go and meet the mother. The mother said, the mind of the head of what? Of John. Friend, the John, that woman was what? Was a strong man against John. And the, what happened? The woman, the girl, the lady went to go and meet the father. I need the head of who? Of John. I don't know the enemy. They have been pursuing you. A time has come for them to make sacrifice. They are asking, which person are you going to use? They measure your name. Friend, they measure your name. Let me tell you something. And after the, after the lady measured the head of John, and the king have no option to what? To cut the head of John and give to, her daughter, to his daughter. I don't know who are those men and women that stand in your life, that become hero. They have become war. They have become strong man. They want to make sure they see the end of you. This hour, you are going to pray and say, Lord, I must see the end of them. All those are vow over their dead body that they will not be alive. See you prosper, see you enjoy, see you you exist. Let me tell you something. Many of them they are with you in you don't even know in your environment. They come in a corny way. Every morning they will come and check whether you are still alive, whether you whether you whether you miss it. You don't understand. They will come to come and check whether everything is still going well with you. They because they want to make sure that your life becomes dribble. Why can't you pray and say, Lord, all those that stand as a hero in my life, those that stand as a hero that want to frustrate my life, that want to bring me down, that want to scatter my life, those that vow, they have vow over their dead body that you will not marry in your life, they have vow over your over their dead body that nothing good will come out of you, they have vow that your life you will not have joy in your life they have vowed you will not carry your children they have vowed you will not serve god they have vowed that nothing good will come out of you why can't you pray those people they are standing as a hero let god bring them to nothing all of their plans let God make them to become useless. None of their plan will stand in your life. None of their decree will stand. Tell the Lord because the Bible makes me to understand. Whosoever that did get the peace shall follow me. Oh my Father, my God. Father, it will not stand. Neither it will come to pass. All the plans of the evil one concerning my life. Father, those that want to see the end of me. Lord, I must see the end of them. Those that stand as a hero. Father, against my life. Against my ministry against any member of this group my father my god those that demand our head those that demand our life father this hour father may they fall upon what has planned may they fall upon it lord in the name of jesus 
Holy Ghost, you are our fighter. Fight my battle, Holy Ghost, Lord. Holy Ghost, I pray, my Father, this hour, it will not stand, my Father, neither it will come to pass. Holy Ghost, take absolute control. All their plan will become useless. Those that want to frustrate my life, those that want to kill me, those, my Father, that want me to die on time with them, Father, they shall die before me. Father, in glory. Father, you will frustrate them that want to frustrate us. Father, you will stop those that want to stop my life. You will hijack those that want to hijack me. Father, you will bring them to nothing. Those, my father, that have been chasing me up and down. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray. You lay your hand upon your head. Every cause, every generational cause, ancestral cause, foundational cause that have been working against your life that have been affecting you right now whosoever that lay cause on you the bible said cause be the causer who is it that will lay cause on you when god has blessed you on that day there was a, a man that was hired to lay to cause the children of israel and they blind him to make sure he lay cause on them but Bala said, how can I cause the people God has blessed already? Friend, we are going to pray. All the native daughters that will be hired to cause you. All the native daughters that will be hired to what? To cause you. Even those that, cause that, that went to the native daughter's place. This hour you are going to place. You are going to pray right now. Your prayer that the Lord, whatever they has planned, they will use their head to carry it. That every cause they have prepared, maybe they have caused you that you listen to me before you pray. Maybe they have caused you that you will not remember home. Maybe they have caused you that you will not know you will not know good things in your life. Maybe they have caused you that you will not marry. Or maybe there is a particular cause. It is a, a, a somebody was telling me in Germany there is this cause in their family. What is the cause? That anybody that is 35 years must die, and it was is true. And uh, they wipe away the whole family. This young man was crying. Remain, he, it's not his turn to die. Remain two years old. He have only two years, friend. But you have two years. You have a great year because that two years, God will attend to your matter if only you follow Him, friend. I don't know the cause they have laid in your home. Right now, you can break that cause. Begin to pray right now. Begin to tell the Lord. You, if you know the cause in your family, I say begin to pray right now. Begin to tell the Lord those cause will not stand. Every cause, every generational cause, ancestral cause, familiar cause that I'll be walking against my life. Father, whosoever, Father that lay cause on me, Father, who is it, my Father, that we say that we come to pass when the Lord have not spoken. Father, every cause from my Father company from my mother's company or for my friend my father that i'll be affecting my life father it will not stand neither it will come to pass every cause my father cause of poverty cause of delay cause of disappointment cause of hatred cause of sickness my father father let those cause now father return back to sender whosoever they have been higher father to lay cause of me father i pray my father in glory father those men, Father, those native daughter, Father, that be higher, Father, to lay cause on your children, Father, visit them, Father, visit them with your rod, Father, let your rod visit them this hour in the name of Jesus. Father, it will not stand. Every cause that lay on my head, Father, this hour, the blood of Jesus Christ speak for me, the blood of Jesus Christ defend me, the blood of Jesus Christ see me through in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy to be pray go ahead lord and fight the battle of your children that at the end the name of the lord be glorified in jesus name we have prayed in jesus name we have prayed the topic we are having say the word of god shall stand forever you are going to pray that it is only the word of God that will stand in your life. No any other decree will stand. 
decree for your father's company, decree for the country where you are living. Maybe let me tell you something. Maybe you are hearing that people go to office, they are receiving negative. You think you will not be discouraged because you don't know who you are following. I want to tell you, if everybody go there and receive negative, I must go there and receive what? Positive. Positive. Friend, because I know who I serve. I want you to tell yourself it's only the decree of God. Only the word of God will stand. No any other decree will stand in your life. Begin to pray that it's only the word of God. Only the decree of God. Only the word of God will stand in my life. No any other man decree. No any other woman decree will stand in my life. Will stand in my ministry. Lord, only your word will stand. Father, in the name of Jesus, as son today. Father, no decree, my father. Father will stand in my life. Only your decree will stand in this group. Only your decree will stand in the life of your children. Hearing my voice, my father in Europe, father in Asia, those that are in London, those that are in France, those that are in Belgium, those that are in Austria, those that are in Italy, those that are in Holland, those that are, oh Lord, my father in Canada, those that are in America, those that are in Africa, those that are in Nigeria. Father, no evil decree will stand. No any decree will stand apart from your decree, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed. Father, go ahead, Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to bless your name. Because they shall come in one way, but they will flow in seven ways. Yes. Daddy, I pray, my Father, in glory, all of our adversary, the hour has come for you to deal with them. All yes. our pursuers, all those, my Father, hey, on that day, Nathaniel said, Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? My Father, my God, I don't know any pronunciation against your children that nothing good will come out of them father whosoever is that made that decree father as son today we command that decree to become useless father in glory they store the builder rejected father will become the most important stone out of all stones in the name of jesus father good thing will come out of it father on that day nathaniel saw the good thing come out of nazareth the savior was born in a due time in, in nazareth father the same way good things must come out of their life in the name of jesus Lord, whosoever that vow that your children have moved out of Africa, they will return back with empty handed. My Father yeah. and my God, it will not stand. I said it will not stand. Those that turn your eyes away for you not to even remember your home. Many people now they have turned their eyes away from, uh, from their home, from them not to remember their home. Why? Because the enemy have hijacked all the things they are believable for. Father in glory, whosoever that turn the eyes of your children away, what Whatever they have used to cover their eye, for that whatever they are used to cover their star, as son today, right now, I set you free from every darkness in the name of Jesus. As son today, the Lord of hosts will open your eye. You begin to see because you are no longer inside the darkness. May the light of God continue to shine upon you. Anywhere you go, the light of God continue to shine in you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost, we ask you this hour. Lord, we are hungry. Lord, your children have been in this mountain. Lord, today is the, is the third day. Lord, we have come, my Father, to receive from you. Lord, feed us now. Lord, we are empty. Nobody come to you and feed up, we receive anything. Now that we are empty, Lord, we want to be fed up. Now that we have nothing inside our stomach, since morning, no food. Lord, my father, waiting on you. Lord, are you not going to feed us? Even those that have already taken something, Lord, you will feed them because they are a part of the blessing. Holy Ghost, I pray right now to feed us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we are praying.
brothers and sisters, you are welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are on the message this evening that say, the word of our God shall stand forever. The word of our God shall what? Shall stand forever. Mark the word. Pay attention. Friend, I don't know the pronunciation of the grass in your life. The grass, the Lord has created them, but they make a pronunciation, but this pronunciation will not stand. Because the word of the Lord will stand forever. Let's read in the book of uh, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, we are going to take it from verse 1 to 8. The word, Isaiah chapter 40, that say, comforting, comforting. The Lord want to comfort people this evening again. The Lord want to remember people this evening. The Lord want to bring joy. Those people that have no joy, those people that have no peace, those people that have no love, those people that have lost salvation, those people that have lost purity, those are people that have lost sanctification, those people that have lost life. The Lord want to bring life again. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Are we there? Read. Otherwise, I read. I say Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 to 8. Go ahead. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, yes. says, the, says your God. Speak comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that our welfare is accomplished, that our iniquities is hardened. For she had received of the Lord's hand double for her sin. Verse 3, the voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The, seas, the voice said, Cry! And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the feet. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. Mm. Let's eat. The grass withereth, mm -hmm. the flower fadeth, mm -hmm. but the word of our God mm -hmm. shall stand forever. Yes. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the word. Sorry, Isaiah, what's up? That Isaiah 40, 1 to 8. Friends, you can see that the, pro the problem we are having in this world today is because of many of us have decided to be far from God. At the day you decided to be far from God, that is the day you decided to be close to your enemy. Amen. Do you understand that? As you have decided, you remember when we started this program, we begin to talk about what? About repentance. That is the first message talking about repent ye. And now, the way you decided, to be separate away from God, not to take the message you have had to live by it. What happened? You are not close to your enemy. Mark the word, because it's only the it's only those that are it's only those that are in the team of Jesus. It's only that party can stand. No any other party can stand. Do you understand me? Go and check right from the one that the the, the, the world was created today which party has been existing which party has been ruling which party has been overthrowing <laughs> eh? which party is the winning party eh? is the is the only reigning party is the only one that have been standing no any other kingdom no any other man no any other woman not even Jezebel not even Satan himself not even Satan and his children could able to overthrow him. He overthrow whosoever he want to overthrow. Amen. 
Amen. Friend, but when you want to really enjoy life, the only person you need in your life is only Jesus Christ. Even though that the whole witch in the whole world, let them join their hand together and fight you. But you have only Jesus Christ in your life. They will not able to bring you down because the word of the Lord stands for what? Forever. And he begin to analyze to us that the voice, he said, the voice of the voice said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? He said, all flesh and what are grass. Mark the word, all flesh and what are grass. Why will you be afraid of grass? Why will you be afraid of the grass that Christ created? God created the grass by himself. And now the grass will now begin to make a caution using the thing that your father created to begin to make a caution to kill you. Why will you die when you are really with your father? If you are in a good relationship with your father. Why will your father now fold hand and allow that, that grass to, to kill you? How is it possible? Friend, the word of our the word of our God shall word shall stand forever. forever. All creating lives faded and withered and withered and come to an end. All these things that God created, these things you are seeing, woman, bees, flower, houses, many things, things all the whole thing that are existing in this world. They will come and word and go. But the word of God stands still forever. <laughs> and you not check why are you afraid of the winches and wizards they will come and press you in the night you wake up you are afraid why how why is it possible because you have not yet decided to war to be with him friend don't be afraid this time you must have a different mind just like a just like a david yesterday we talked about david and just like the same mind of David, you must have the same mind today. You must be the David of your time. That even though that the whole world, the whole nation, the whole Nigeria today has confused, that you will have the you will have a different mind that Nigeria is going to become great. That this man, you know, that David look at him, David said, Who is this circumcised Philist Philistine that defied the army of God? Not only defy the army of God, defy God. Only a young boy, even the king, even the king today, the pastor, the many people has confused. But you must have a different mind, a different mind that you are going to pull this, uh, this, uh, this uh, mountain down, friend. Because you know who is your God is. That is what is what is stand. I don't know whether you have had. Maybe God has spoken to you and now they are discouraging you. Take the word of God and leave. You hear what I said? Take that word, the word of God and what? And leave. Don't let your heart be troubled. Even though somebody is telling you you are a failure, tell the person, my friend, I am a winner. I am not a failure. Because the word of God must stand in my life. Amen. It's only the word Amen. of God. Maybe word sometimes you, you, you wake Amen. up, you had a terrible dream, or there are situations you are passing through, or there are some difficulties around you. The, what do you need to do? You begin to tell situation, come, come here, come and sit down. Where were you when Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary and said it is finished? Say sickness, come, come, you, you, you command him, come sickness, sit down here. Let me ask you a question. Friend, are they telling you they are going to deport you? Who is will deport you? Who will deport you when the Lord have not said it? Are they telling you you are going to die? Maybe you receive a phone call. They tell you, hey, I had a revelation that you are going to die. Who said it? That you are going to die. Who said it? When the Lord, when the Lord is saying that our death is not necessary. Who said it? You are afraid. Not to even to even call your village anymore. Not to even to come to go there. Wow. Praise the Lord. Let's, let's see in the book of Isaiah chapter 37 verse 27. Isaiah chapter 
Please let there be no noise. You that have children there, mute your phone, please. Mute your phone. Let there be no noise. Isaiah chapter 37. 27. Go ahead. Therefore, their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field and as the green head, as the grass on the house top, and as corn blasted before it be grown up. Amen. You can see, I pray this hour that all your pursuer will be confounded in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All Amen. your pursuers, all your pursuers that have been saying that the word of God will not stand in your life, that uh, nothing good will come out of you, that you will not marry, that you will not enjoy your home, that you have married, that your home will not have peace. May the Lord make them to be confounded in the name of Jesus. Where they may be, where they, I don't know the arrow they have shoot into your life. They have shot arrow into your life, but that arrow they have shot into your life, that arrow will return back to their generation in the name of Jesus. Because it's only the word of the Lord will stand in this time. Friend, let me tell you something. The, the, the Abraham of our time has given us all. I told you I am not the word, I am the Isaac of my time. As the Isaac of my time, he has given me all. Giving me authority, giving me power, giving me anointing, giving me his blessing. And I pray this hour, through the power that has been invested on me, the Lord will make all your enemies to become deaf and dumb. I don't know that those Lord they have given to you. Let me tell you something. Maybe now they have given you unnecessary load to, to carry. Those load, they will use their head to carry those load they have given you. They, I said those load the enemy has given you. I don't know whether they have given you basket. Now you are not holding basket to go to the river. Instead of you to hold a bowl to go and fresh water. Now they have given you basket to go and fresh water. How can you fresh water with basket? I pray whosoever that giving you that basket. I send it back to sender. In the name of Jesus. As on today, it will not stand. Neither it will come to pass. Friend. Is somebody that has peace that can go and trouble another person. Do you hear what I tell you? Eh? And I pray all those, all those that gang up and begin to trouble you. As of today, I cut away peace for their life. I cut away joy away from their life. I cut away happiness away from their life. And I pray right now that the trouble of God will begin to fall upon them. They begin to carry the trouble of the Lord. The Lord will pour out His anger upon them now in the name of Jesus. Because only the word of God will stand in your life. No any... Oh, yes. And did they tell you that fibro is going to... Did they tell you that fibro and eh, fibro will not fibro want to kill you? But I want to tell you, fibro will swallow fibro again. Fibro is going to swallow fibro. Or did they tell you that your wound have dried, that you will not have children? But I tell you, as on this hour, those who will begin to carry twins, those who will begin to carry triplets, those who begin to carry children. I don't know what they have said. I don't know what they have said. I said they asked the, oh, this program, it is a program God have prepared by Himself. The Lord of heaven will begin to do it. Hey, there will be a testimonies. There will be testimony that will make people to mad. Friend, people that want to see you that uh, now, now you have become a you have become a dry tree that uh, no man is asking you hey, I want to marry you maybe you have been there for long but I want to tell you I want to tell you I don't know they I don't know what they are poor on you and now they are not see, see you as a they are not seeing you as a masculine they are not seeing you like all those things they put they put on they put an insurance that not nobody can go there you know all those things they put insurance that they pour oil they pour uh, they, they pour blood they pour all those food everywhere is smelly you know that you cannot go there and i don't know what they have poured on you and now people are not seeing you but i pray right now whosoever 
any man or woman, any ear that hear, any eyes that see, when they was planning against your life, against your life, they have vowed that nothing, that you will never get married. As on this hour, as you decided to live by the word of God, the Lord will speak for you. Whatever they have put upon your head, and I send it back to a sender now, in the name of Jesus. As on today, whatever they have used to cover your star, not to shine, your star will begin to shine. I say your star will begin to shine because the time of the Lord, this is the day of the Lord proper. There will be manifestation. There will be testimony all over the world that people will begin to run back to Jesus because Jesus, it is a time, the time of the Lord proper has come from the church, for the church to know that the power of the Holy Ghost is still ruling. God will honor his word. Friend, why will you be, why will you be so lonely? God, those that want to make you to die in loneliness. You are not saying, why can't I just drink something and die? Is it life am I living now? When people are sleeping, you are looking at silly. You are crying. You are crying. People are sleeping. You are saying, Lord, have you not be have you abandoned me? Have you not been seeing my situation? Lord, have you not been seeing it? Lord, is it not better I die? Friend, all your enemy that want to bury you, you will bury them. All those that want to bury you, they will see you, you are flourishing as on today. Hey, those that say you will never rejoice in your life, they, they, will, they will come and join you to celebrate. In the name of Jesus. Friend, the word of our God shall what? Shall stand forever. He <laughs> said, go into the world and what? And multiply. It says, yes. go into the world and replenish the world. Yes, These are the so. word of the Lord. Yes. Therefore, he said, the land you enter, I'm going to give you the land. <laughs> that is the word of God. Hallelujah. Why will you be afraid? You are afraid because you don't know. I'm going to teach a message that says, the, 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 the mess, there is a message that will come. The message that says, if you know the greatness of who you are following, you will not behave the way you are behaving. If you know the greatness of the person you are following, there is a need of knowing the greatness of this our God. If the pastor that are carrying Mopo, that are carrying police to gather their body, they are looking for all this uh, woman, be security, they carry gone. If they know the greatness of God, they will not carry those gone. Message will come in that way. <laughs> <laughs> friend we continue in the book of psalm 19 verse 5 psalm 19 verse 5 i'm going to rush now we we are rounding up 19 verse 5 19 verse 5 in 19 verse 5 yes thou, thou carries them away hold on hold on sister uh eunice let the other person read i don't know go ahead Okay, go ahead, sister. You need the person has moved her phone. Go ahead, please. Thou carries them away as with a flood. They are as a, as a sleep. In the morning, they are like grass which groweth up. You can see that. You can see what happened there. That the Lord is going to carry all your enemy away. That is how that is what is going to happen. It will carry them away from your side. It's a 103 verse 15. 103 verse 15. As for man, as for man, yes. As for man, his days are as grass, mm. as a flower mm. of the field, mm. so he flourishes. You can, hallelujah. <laughs> who is who is your mother, Elo, that we said that he will not stay in your home? Who is that father Elo or uncle or auntie or brother that say what God have joined together and they are going to scatter it? The Lord will not allow it to stand. Friend, all you just need to do, or maybe for instance, that there are projects you have started in your life. They have told you that no way you can finish that project. That, uh, okay. A sister told me time ago what his wicked sister said to her. The wicked sister said, Sister, let me tell you that building you are building, 
I will be the one to take it away from you. I will be the one. The two of them, they are alive. The sister is saying that your beauty, that you will not enter that beauty. I will be the one to enjoy that beauty. Oh, wow. Friend, it will not stand, neither it will what it will come to pass. Amen. Because only the decree of the Lord will stand in your life. As on today, as on today, never you allow, never you accept negative. If anybody is a proof, if anybody is just pronounced negative into your life, tell the person is only congratulation is acceptable in my life. It will not happen. Friend, don't ask. Even you should not walk, pronounce negative into the life of your children or the life of your husband or even yourself. You begin to tell yourself, I am finished. You are not finished. All those things, the devil take advantage of all those things to begin to walk, to deal with you. Okay. You don't understand. You are laying curse on your children. Say, this time, I don't understand what type of woman be are you. Yeah, I don't understand. You are very stubborn. And now, and you are making pronunciation, Satan begin to take advantage of that child. Ah, this child, nothing good is coming out of you. You are disturbing my life. Friend, you need to stop negative things and begin to learn how to pronounce what positive. Please, man, please, move that phone, move that phone, move that phone, because the word of the Lord shall stand. We see the God's word endure forever. God's promise we will, will be fulfilled. We be fulfilled in our time. Whether the devil like it or not, the word of God cannot what cannot change. I have never seen where the where the word of God change. The promise, the promise he made with Abraham, I never see where they change. And now, why is it going to change in your old time? Why is it going to change in your old time? Have you been serving God? You say, Lord, I'll be serving you. I don't understand you. Friend, nobody serve God faithfully and God will abandon that person. If you are a member of this group, you have been with me, you have no testimony, check your life. Whether the message you are hearing, whether you are eating the message, or you be a hearer, you are not a doer. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? If you be on this program, for one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, one year, six months, two years, three years, nothing is happening to your life, my friend. You need deliverance. Serious deliverance. You need the deliverance. The Bible said you shall what? You shall know the truth and what? And the truth shall set you free. How can you know the truth and live by the truth and you are still in trouble of life? Friend? It may be you have no peace before, but now since you have been joining, there is peace. Happiness. It may not be only money. Maybe there are other things you don't have salvation before, but now you are not having salvation. Friend, simply means something has happened to you, you have a testimony. Exactly. Let's read the last place we pray. In John chapter 12, verse 34. John chapter 12, verse 34. We pray. John 12, 34. Who is reading there? I read. Yeah. Go ahead. The people. I'm sorry. Who is reading now? The people answered him. We have heard out of the Lord that Christ abided forever. And how said thou the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? You can, you can see the people with poor understanding. Because of lack of what? Lack of knowledge. That is the reason why this morning the Lord was telling us that my people have this way for what? For lack of uh, knowledge. knowledge. But the Lord don't want us to lack knowledge again. Yeah. When if you if you if you are not if you don't lack of knowledge, you begin to uh, enjoy the thing that belongs to knowledge. The people ask this question. They don't know that they, 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 they don't know they have the privilege to be talking to the master, to the son of God. That was uh, that was measured years ago that is coming, but it's coming. 
my brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord will work, will stand in your life. The word of God will stand in your marriage. If, if only you allow God to come and reign in your home. It's only the word of God that will stand in this ministry. No any other decree. All the witches and wizards, even all the spirit be, they have no power over your life. Friend, begin to talk to God this evening. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. It's only the word of God will stand in my life. The message is over. Why will you feel discouraged? Why will you feel lonely? Why will you tell yourself you are tired? Because you have not known, you don't have this knowledge. It's only the word of God will stand. No matter the circumstances in the world, only the word of God will stand. Only the word of God will stand. You will marry. Who said it that you will not marry? It's only the word of God. Only his decree will stand. No, I mean, no, there is no negotiable. There is no two ways about it. There is nothing to change it. Nothing can change it because the word of God stands forever. Why can't you talk to God? I give you two minutes to pray before I conclude the message. I give you two minutes to pray. I give you two minutes. Father, we thank you because it's only your word we stand in my life. Father, I want to bless you because only your word will stand in the life of my wife. Daddy, I want to thank you because it's only your word will stand in this ministry. Lord, I want to thank you because no any other decree will stand. It's only your word will stand. My father, your word stand forever in my life. Father, in the life of every man or woman hearing my voice, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you, my father, because that is how it's going to be. Holy God, there is no negotiable about it. Father, nothing can change it. Lord, Holy God, I want to bless you because your word must stand in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. For in Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name I pray. We are going to, we are going to pray and tell the Lord that on Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation is only the word of the Lord we stand. There is no negotiable. It's only the word of God will stand in the life of every member of this group. Both those that are here, those that are not here, all our children. Only the word of God will stand in their life. There is no any other decree will stand in our life. Begin to pray. Begin to tell the Lord. Only the word of God will stand on this group. In Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation, only the word of God will stand. In the life of every member of this group, those that are here, those that are not here, Father, in glory, only your word will stand. All our children, Father, there is no negotiable about you, my Father. Holy Ghost, I pray this evening that your name alone will be lifted up, that your name will be glorified, that your name will be magnified. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Father, we bless you, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed. Go ahead. Begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for how God leads us this evening. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord for how God leads us. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Father, we thank you this evening. We bless you for how you carry us through. We thank you for how you make it possible, Father, for us to end today's program. Father, every power that want to Hijack our prayer, Holy Ghost fire, hijack the now in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you, Holy Ghost Lord. Let your name be Lord be glorified. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we want to thank you this evening. 
We appreciate you for how you lead us. We thank you because only your word will stand in our life. Amen. Daddy, there is no negotiable about it. I give you thanks. I give you praise. For all your children, Lord, my father, that gather this program. Father, only your decree will stand in their life. There is no decree we stand. Lord, my father, as on today, let your children begin to see your greatness. Let them begin to enjoy your greatness, Lord. Lord, as on today, we are praying, Father, we shall be enjoying your greatness. We shall be enjoying what belongs to our Father. Now that we are not knowing who you are, Lord, my Father, your blessing belongs to us. Daddy, you will pour out your blessing upon us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, go ahead, Lord, and let your name be glorified. The next program by 12 midnight is in your hand. Father, tonight, let it be another night. A different night. A night of power. A night, oh Lord, my Father, in glory of on another level. A night, my Father, in glory that your children will say, yes, I am glad for being a partaker of tonight. Blessed be the Holy Name, Lord. I know, Father, before this program will end, there will be showers of blessing. There will be showers of testimony in all over the people that believe that Good Mojol Family Foundations have been raised in this time. Lord, as many those I want to follow us, Lord, my Father, you begin to show to them that you are the one that owes this program. Go ahead and let your name be glorified. In Canada, Father, your banner will be lifted up in Canada. In America, Daddy, in London, Father, in Germany, in Austria, in Australia, in Holland, in, uh, in Italy, in all over the place, my Father, where your children in Nigeria, where they are hearing the, my voice this evening. Father, your name must be lifted up, that people will know that you are the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Name. The food, the water, we sanctify them with the blood of Jesus. We cover our life, the remaining hour of today, with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. My brothers and sisters, go to your Facebook and share the message. And uh, the, all the message that we have uh, we have received so far, all of them they are on YouTube. If you have not yet subscribed, go to the YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube. Share the message to your friends, to your brothers. Let them listen to the message and that uh, they will receive their blessing. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful evening. God bless you.